Welcome to Data Science Using Starter, a complete beginner's course. Now, this is a modified version um, for YouTube. It's a YouTube special, if you want. Um, my name is Gerhard Kling. Now, what's the background? Number one, if you want to know more about myself, you can check out my LinkedIn and Twitter. Um, if you like what you see, as always, um, if you want, you, you can follow. I will always follow back because I want to know um, what um, you are up to um, in terms of your learning journey. Now, my main passion in, in life is to um, give you um, a sense of joy when it comes to analyzing data. I have done this for many, many years. Um, I'm quite um, um, of advanced age, uh, as you might have noticed. Now, this particular course is not academic, and I have to be very clear on that. It's not what you teach um, at a university level. The main um, difference is I removed um, anything linked to theory. Yeah? So whenever you see theory, we basically do this. We don't do theory, we do applied stuff. Yeah? So that's not academic, so put differently, it doesn't really help you to pass your next, um, you know, statistics or econometrics um, exam. So no theory, hands-on, super applied. Now, the academic version of this course was running um, at SOAS um, from 2015 to 2019. I did um, an applied version um, for um, HMRC um, for about three years. So I delivered some blog teaching um, for analysts um, at um, Revenue and Customs. Now this was a much more applied version. So this particular version is based on the HMRC course. Um, it has been further modified to make sure that I um, don't go into things where you need you know, significant um, prior knowledge because I really don't know exactly what you already know, which makes it a bit difficult. So um, put differently, if there's any any issue um, with it, um, if I still cover um, stuff you haven't heard before, um, please leave a comment um, and you can also get in touch uh, via Twitter. My DMs are open. Um, and as always, as YouTubers say, hit the like button and subscribe if you like what you see. Now, I did another video on Starter, so um, it's, I think, um, up here somewhere in, in, in a card, where I talk about, um, you know, should you learn Starter right now? Um, there are pros and cons to it, so I, I, I go into this in this other video. Now, um, what are we covering in this, um, in this course? We um, do an introduction to statistical models. We then go into exploring data, which is actually in practice really, really important and very often ignored. Honestly, so even if you look at textbooks, they um, tend to jump straight into some fancy uh, mathematics, some nice linear algebra and some regression modeling. But actually, to be really honest, um, in practice, if your data is, is, is not good or using a technical term, grab, if your data is grab, you don't get anything useful out of it. You can do the most and best uh, machine learning AI tool you want. If your data is, is not good, don't expect any amazing results. So it's really important to check the quality of your data. I can't repeat this more often. Then, of course, I go into the classics. So we go into regression analysis. You know, this is covered um, in all courses you do, whether you study psychology um, or you, you, you do a course in, in biostatistics, it doesn't really matter. And again, I stress what we learn here can be applied to any data set. It doesn't matter. You know, I worked mostly on, on finance, but also economics and physics topics. It doesn't matter. Data is data. So that's the beauty of, of working in data science um, and data analytics. Then after that, I move into post-estimation analysis. So basically checking whether the assumptions you actually make really hold. And very often they don't. And actually what you, what you get is, is, frankly, using another technical term, rubbish. So you have to make sure that what you actually assume really holds. Otherwise, whatever you find is not reliable. 
Then we go into panel data. Again, panel data are really, really important, in particular if you um, want to explore firm level interactions or interactions among individuals where you have observations over time. We can do lots of fun stuff with it. Then we go into binary choice models. So this is stuff you, you use, for instance, in, in credit scoring. Yeah? Do you get a loan? Yes, no. Yeah? Computer says no. And so we basically try to build up these models. We talk about model specification, again, something very much overlooked, very important in practice. And finally, the last bit is some more fancy stuff um, going into structural equation modeling um, and confirmatory factor analysis. It's quite a mouthful. But we'll talk about this. Again, we strip out the nasty theory. We don't do a theory here. We do it very applied, hands-on. Yeah, so that's the promise. Good stuff. So what will you actually get out of it? Um, I, I hope what you get out of it, you, you get a, a sense of how to analyze what you call structured data. So here we, we work with data which is actually in good shape. If your data is not in good shape, you have to do a lot more work. And I will do some further videos on that, which you call, you might call this, I call this data wrangling. So basically moving stuff around. Honestly, you have to move into Python to do this really effectively. You know, starter isn't made for that. We go into interpretation of statistical output. We visualize data. We, we, um, we learn how to use starter. We focus on problem solving here. It's all hands on. You only learn it if you actually do it. It's a bit like swimming. You can't learn how to swim by reading a book about swimming. You have to do it yourself. If you don't do it, if you don't put in the hours of analyzing and struggling with data, you won't get much out of it. Yeah. So you must, 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 must try it yourself. It's important. Make mistakes. Okay. I will make plenty of mistakes. You can't do any worse, in my opinion. I do a few workshops here as well, so um, where we analyze data, so it's really hands-on, we use starter, we, we look at how to use so-called do files, um, how to interpret output, and so on. Um, finally, I will update all the material on GitHub. There should be a link below. Um, it will keep updating. It will take me quite a bit of time to go through everything, so um, be a bit patient. I also will update the slides um, and I will keep updating them also based on your feedback. Good, now um, what's the drawback? There's always a catch. Um, I don't want um, to sell you anything, but of course to, to do starter you have to get starter. Now a few points here. Number one, you do not need the latest version of starter. At the moment, while recording this, I think it's starter version 17. As you will see, in my case, I'm still on version 13 because I'm an old guy and I don't really go with the times. The thing is, you don't need the latest version to do what we are, what we are doing here. It's not needed. It's absolutely fine to, to work on a starter 13, 11 version, even going all the way back to good old Stata 8. It will still run most of it. You might need to modify a few commands. So you don't need the latest version. Yeah, obviously, if you look um, online for older versions, you will find them. And this is all I want to say about this topic. The next thing is you can convert data sets um, from an older version to a newer version and vice versa. You, you know, there is no problem using Python. I did another video on this, how to do this. Um, this gets around uh, some, some problems which you might have um, using an older version of starter. But it can be all fixed in only actually three lines of code. Very, very straightforward. Now here's a link to, um, to starter. You get a, a student version of starter, the latest version. Again, you don't really need that. But if you want to have a, a, the latest version, you get this for £65 per year. It's a lot of money, I have to be honest. Um, but again, you don't need the latest version. If you want to have um, basically a, an end, endless license, a perpetual license, you get it for 165 Again, in my opinion, a lot of money. Um, it's up to you to decide. You can um, sign up for a free version for 30 days. And this is what I would do first, just to give it a try. Do you like it? 
And of course, quite often you already might have starter because you are um, studying um, at an university that provides starter. You are working uh, in a business that is already using starter, and starter is used a lot. Again, I, I did a video on this um, and um, talked about the pros and cons. All right, that's all for this intro. Um, I see you in the next unit. Um, take care.